Hey, it's Jody, Jody Taylor of SnackySays.com. I am adding a new principal slash digital planner. I'll get to that in a second uh, to my Etsy shop. So I thought I would walk you through that in case there um, are those of you out there who like a behind the scenes look or who have your own shop and you haven't posted in a while. Um, <laughs> believe me, it does get a little rusty. You haven't put a listing up in a while on Etsy or if you're about to do it for the first time. So here is, um, it's a daily workout mood tracker. It's something that I've used um, for several weeks now, actually longer than that. I think I first made this, the first version of this back in April and of this recording, it's, um, well, tomorrow is August of 2021. So it's, it's been a few months now. So um, it's one sheet, but four different pages. What makes it different is the heading. So here, for example, you see the date and word of the day. So you write the date and your word of the day. And then here you can write your intention. So the heading is just a little different on each one. There are four versions, the only difference being the heading. So um, let's go through this one. Emojis. So this is truly to track your mood. I was trying to find patterns and connections with my workouts and my movement. And so um, I like would circle how I was feeling. And if none of these descriptors, proud, happy, sleepy, sad, <laughs> it sounds like dwarfs, none of them work. You can draw your, um, your own emotions or mood. I set up and prep. So for me, that might mean putting weights out or a mat. Today's workout plan. So the workouts I'm going to do, I generally work out at home. So it might be a millionaire hoy workout and then um, Sarah Beth meditation or yoga. And then looking forward to, so here I usually write looking forward to breakfast, looking forward to great news, looking forward to this workout, and then how I feel after my workout. And they're usually two different um emotions. I'm curious if that'll be the same for you if you decide to try this um, mood tracker. And then highlights. Here I put the highlights from my workout um, and then challenges. So any issues I had, maybe I was hungry, maybe I was distracted, maybe the Wi-Fi went out. And now I'm going to, so usually here I'm going to shower, I'm going to put away my equipment. I am um, going to make more coffee. So this is just like a little background on why I started using it to, to, for patterns and um, how I use it. And so now let's go over to Etsy. Okay, so when I first made, um, I actually started this video earlier today and realized I had to do a lot of backend stuff. So um, go to Etsy. Hopefully you already have an account if you don't sign up. And um, once you do, you will see a little shop manager here. You click on that. That will lead you to listings um right here listings and so here you're going to see all of the listings that you have if you already have a shop and if you don't then you won't see anything so these are what i have listed right now so for you you're going to go over to add a listing this black um rectangle here with the plus sign you click on that add photos you can add a video um i am going to walk you through this i already have it all done uh, but I'll just show you each section. So to add your photos, um, by the way, you should organize it. Don't do this. I have my stuff in downloads right now. Don't be like me, <laughs> you know, organize it in one file because um, any system you want, but the more you add to Etsy, then you'll be like, oh, what, what was that folder? You know, you might want to reference it. You might want to reference the images for language or to maybe just um, switch out um switch out the text and the images and, and use it again so um we're going to use these five that might take a while but here i'll download while that downloads i'm going to walk you through more so down here we have add a video i don't think it let's see if it'll let me yeah it will so we'll go back to downloads again don't do this be more organized but here's my video Etsy says, there's a little pop-up here. Etsy says that buyers are loving listing videos. Um, Cha-ching. By the way, when you make your first Etsy sale or your hundredth, if you have the app on your phone, you'll always hear cha-ching. So it says, we know that shoppers are more likely to purchase an item if the listing includes a video. So that's why we're adding a video. So this is all taking a while to download. 
here your title um you're going to describe what it is so um this is already done but i'll just make it up for our purposes sorry about the fan on my computer i can't figure out why this keeps happening but if you've watched my video before any video from me and this happens you know what i'm gonna say we're gonna keep going all right so you can put something descriptive you should put something descriptive like workout tracker principal um ipad digital planner and you'll see what i ended up with in a second photos still going i should have just added one they're coming up all right we'll come back to that okay so who made it about this listing i did um what is it it's a finished product um it's not like i'm making something that someone's gonna finish uh, themselves when did you make it um recently okay so category uh it's going to be calendars and planners for me depending on your product it will be something else uh so choose primary colors this is optional secondary color occasion also optional this is going to be like holidays um renewal options i always click automatic so that's your listing um it it says this listing will renew as it expires for 20 cents each time so each time, I think it's each time someone buys something, they charge you 20 cents. Um, and if no one's buying, you'll actually get like a bill for 20 cents or 40 cents. Um, it's not physical. I'm not shipping anything. It's digital. I'm going to scroll back up to the photos now. So here are photos. Um, I think I like this order, but just to show you, I'm going to change it around let me make that a little bit bigger and by the way um, these images that you see and you'll see the finished product I um, I learned all this Michelle and Amy taught me I took the passive income planner girl course from Michelle Rohr and Amy Johanan and it's been years and this is the gift that keeps on um, giving I do have an affiliate link I will add it um, it won't cost you anything if you happen to use it, but I swear by them. They're, they're really good women. They have a really great program and they just continuously build on it. And so this is, gosh, at this point, I think it's in the third iteration and each iteration is better and better, but you get gems like this and, and tips like this. Um, so next, so these are the photos. Um, just checking. All right, so you'll see adjust thumbnail. So you see it that the heading is cut off, so let's adjust it. This cross that comes up, you can move it around. Um, hmm, this actually looks good, but I just want to show you this sliding scale on the bottom. So we'll leave it like that and then click save. And then let's take a look at our video. Just press play. Actually, the first time I um, did this, I pressed play and I realized that it had a wrong image in there. So always, always double check, press play, take a look at it. Um, and if you, even if you publish it, you can always come back and move things around or change your pictures. I've done that um, for, for older listings. Okay, so everything is filled. Oh, let me move my face. Everything's filled out so far. So description, this is kind of a behemoth <laughs> and you'll see in the final one. So here you wanna describe your product and make sure you're being really clear about exactly what they're getting to um, avoid any miscommunication or misunderstanding. And then production partners, we're not using this here. I do have a physical planner and t-shirts, so that's what that is. And those things get, um, shipped directly from my print partners so section optional you know it says optional but if you have categories and sections click on it so that folks know where to find your um, products on your page especially if you have a lot of listings I'm gonna click digital planners because even though this is a printable it can be used on an iPad with note-taking apps but I make clear in my description that it is a printable that can be used so there are no hyperlinks. Tags, um, here you can put uh, principle, exercise, 
fitness tracker and then fill out all of them that's what I do so you can see I have 11 left and then for materials I actually don't use this because it's not like it's jewelry where I'm gonna say gold but um, don't go by me if you want to list your materials then go for it so price you're gonna put your price I think I'm gonna pr put mine at three dollars I think that's what I ended up doing quantity here I put 999 because it's it that way it, it auto renews so I won't get a notification or email to manually um, renew it and it's a digital product more importantly so we don't want to make it seem like there's none left when someone buys you ha we have plenty because we're gonna add um, so speaking of adding this is where we upload our file so this was just our example so I'm gonna go to what I already filled out this see what I mean about the behemoth so go on Etsy and you can use my um, shop of course don't copy word for word for anyone's Etsy shop you, we all have our own things so um, here I ended up with daily workout mood tracker principle digital planner good notes iPad US letter that's the only size um, that it comes in some folks do um, US letter and the British oh a7 a7 a4 I think it's a4 a4 I was gonna say British but it's used in um, a, a whole bunch of different regions so I just make it clear it's US letter it's one page with four versions as I walk you through in the beginning here are my photos here's my video it's adjusted um, oh who made it I did I didn't fill this out what did is it a finished product when did you make it it was recent um, calendars and planners again if I make a mistake here I can always come back um, so here is my description so here you want to be very clear be very specific um, about what's in the product and note that you don't issue refunds if that's true like here I have that here I list out exactly what you're getting it's it's each page is the same except for the header so just be as clear as possible and here in the beginning I describe the tracker in principle um, and then finally at the end I introduce other things that I have in my shop so anyone who scrolls down that far can check out other things uh, set, and I say if you have any questions contact me on Etsy thank you my name and my website and again we're gonna skip production partners because it's not physical and I decided to go with um, the digital planner section it is a principle and I do have a note here that says this principle can also be used on your iPad in a note-taking app such as good notes note-taking apps are not included in your purchase so you'll see that um, in the final photo of my listing just you know I try to make it as clear as possible and you'll see that um, if you look through Etsy and look at other listings so pricing three dollars and in terms of pricing you know Michelle Rohr always says go with um, what you feel maybe something you're a little bit I'm kind of now conflating Michelle Rohr and Rachel Rogers I've been reading a lot about money and pricing um, basically go with the price you feel comfortable with and you can always change it I, I change prices in my shop all the time and you can also put things on sale you can double the prices play with it have fun okay so finally we are going to upload our files it says you can add up to five more files so let's go for it it's in downloads I'm gonna have a set of four here oh my my file name is too long let me change that and come right back okay I'm back so mental note um if you your file like I you can see I have all of these words in my in my file name if it's too long you'll get a message up top so I went and changed it um, hopefully this will work so I'm uploading um, let's see if I can do it all at the same time I'm uploading uh, a set so all four pages all together and then also individually so with um, Etsy they have a file size limit I feel like it's 20 gosh I don't want to lie um, it's 20 I'm gonna actually look it up hold on again 
always believe in yourself. It is 20 MB. I just looked it up really quickly. So um, if you get a message that says, whoa, 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 what's going on? These files are too big. I'm going to give you um, an app. It, if, you, if you have a Mac, it's called PDF Squeezer. Get that app and um, it will squeeze your PDFs, your principles um, in any PDF that you have and just make it a smaller size. It's about 10 bucks. It's worth every penny, not an affiliate, just really love it and believe in it. Um, okay, so if you look down here, let's say you don't like anything you're doing, you could always hit cancel all the way at the bottom of the page or you can hit preview to take a look at what it might look like. You can save as draft or you can publish. So let's look at the preview. Okay, so this is strange. Not what I was expecting. You know what I think I'm thinking? You know what? I'm thinking of WordPress. You hit preview and you see it exactly how it looks on the listing. Okay, yeah, this looks fine. Um, Let's. That's strange. Something is wrong here. Is physical? No, digital. Okay, let's hit publish. You're about to publish a new listing. There's a non refundable fee of 20 cents for each new listing. By publishing, you agree to pay this fee. The publication date will, will be set to today's date. Um, and the listing will expire four months from today. You can turn off auto renew anytime in listings. All right, sounds good. Let's hit publish. And that's it. It's up. So your listing is active. View your listing. This, I have a feeling, is going to look like what I wanted to see in preview. Yeah, we're all done. Um, so here it is. Looks good. Uh, let's go back to the video. Oh, I guess. Why isn't it playing? Oh, you know what? I actually have to go back and change this. There's too much time in between um, slides. All right, yeah, see that? Like, that's just too much time. I have to go in and change that and put in a new video. Oh, oh wait, or is it okay? I think it's a little slow. I'm going to change it to, I think right now it's five seconds between um, slides on the video. One, two, three, four, five. Five, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to change it to two seconds. I'll do that later. Um, and, and that is in Keynote. And that template, again, I got from um, the Passive Income Planner Girl course, Michelle Rohr and Amy Johanan. And again, I will put my affiliate link. Um, definitely check it out. Highly recommend it. I've learned a lot. Okay, so these are all my um, listing photos, and you can see I'm showing each page. There are four versions. It's one page, um, with the only difference being the header. And then I here I actually go into what I said in the beginning, um, and it just a few like bullet points with arrows, with the, not bullet, but like you know what I mean. All right, so yeah, that's about it. So this is my new listing. I will also have it. Um, in the description box, in the caption box. Whew. Um, I feel like, oh, and so then please note, I mentioned this earlier. So you say in the listing what you what it is, what you'll receive, and you know, I put it in caps, it's a printable. I have up here, it's a printable digital planner. You can use it in good notes. And then in the description, which looks a little bit um, different from the last time we saw it in terms of uh, formatting, we see um, the description and everything's clear and then here's more for me yeah so that's about it I think I just have to change the video I hope this was helpful um, if you are in the market for a new fitness mood tracker please check mine out um, I will answer any questions that you have just let me know if uh, I think I'm going to post this on YouTube so you can just write in the comments or you can DM me again this is Jody Jody Taylor of snackysays.com and I have just walked you through how to add a new listing to Etsy so if you haven't done it in a while or you've never done it before or you were just curious hopefully this was helpful if you have any questions or concerns again please DM me or leave a comment thank you